Want to fill your martial arts school in 90 days? Watch this video. A lot of martial arts schools struggle with getting new students through the doors. Now, for most of you, the problem isn't teaching good classes, and frankly, I'm not the expert in that, so I wouldn't be the person to speak to you about how to structure your classes. But what I can help you with is getting new people through the door and growing a profitable business. So today, we're gonna to talk a little bit more about how to fill your martial arts school in the next 90 days. So the first step in growing a profitable martial arts school is to generate interest. And the best way to generate interest is to run ads. So if I were in your shoes and I were opening a martial arts school tomorrow and I wanted to get people through the door as fast as possible, the first thing I would do is get someone in to get high quality content of all of my classes. Look, no one's gonna come to your school if you only have stock photos to show. If you want to entice people to sign up at your martial arts school as opposed to the one down the street, you need to have good quality content that engages your community, that builds a connection, that builds relationships, that makes people excited to come try out your classes. Once you have your content, the next thing I would do is distribute it everywhere. Post it on Facebook, post it on Instagram, post it on YouTube, post it on TikTok get that out there the more content you post the more eyes will be on your content and overall the more traffic you'll drive to your martial arts school next i would focus on running a facebook ads campaign um, if i could choose any ads platform to drive new students into a martial arts school it would be facebook ads and when I say Facebook ads, it actually runs on both Facebook and Instagram. But what I would do is take high quality content of your classes, put out enticing ad copy that calls out to the community and target a specific program, whether it's kids or adults, and then talk about how martial arts will help them. Focus, discipline, self-defense, et cetera, et cetera. And then what you wanna do is ramp up the ad spend if you really wanna bring in new students fast. So for example, let's do the math. Let's say you had an ad spend of $1,000 per month and you got leads at $20 per lead. That's 50 leads per month. Now, let's say you have an amazing process to call your leads within five minutes and to follow up with them and you can book 60% of your leads. That's 30 leads that have booked appointments for your martial arts school every month. Now let's say out of those 30 leads, you know, you follow up with them well, you nurture them well, you give them confirmation calls and 60% of them actually show up for class. That's 18 students who show up for class. And then let's say you teach a great class, you have an incentive to get them to sign up on the first day and you can sign up 75% of your leads. That's 13 new students signing up every single month. If you wanna get new students to sign up, it's all about the numbers, right? If you want 13 new students to sign up, 10 to 13 students per month, you need to spend about a thousand a month on your Facebook ads. If you want closer to 20 to 25 students signing up per month, then you need to spend 2000 a month on your Facebook ads. If you want closer to 30 to 40 students signing up per month, then you have to spend 3000 per month on your Facebook ads. So it's all a numbers game. The more you spend on your ads, the more leads that are gonna sign up, the more people that are gonna book, the more people that are gonna show up for class, and overall, the more people who are gonna sign up for your martial arts school. Last bonus tip I'll give you is close the back door. I see so many martial arts schools who can get new people in, who can sign them up, but can you keep them? There's one term I like in business, and it's over deliver. When you get a new client or a new student, Give them the best experience possible. Have a welcome package for them. Make them feel excited. Make them feel part of the family for joining your martial arts school. Check in with them every week to make sure they're happy with their experience and they're having a good time. Shout them out on your Facebook page and uh, pump them up. Introduce them to other members. Invite them to local events at your martial arts school so they feel that they're a part of the community. And really just give them the best experience possible. Because here's the thing, if you, get in, if you put all that work in, right, and you get a new student, and let's say it costs you 100 bucks to get a new student to sign up for your martial arts school, 
and you charge 150 per month. If that student only stays for one month, then you only made 50 bucks out of them because you just spent $100 to get them and they only stayed for one month and paid you 150. But let's say you have amazing martial arts classes. Let's say they love it and on average your students stay for 10 months. Well now, the average value of a student at your martial arts school is 1500 per month and you only spent 100 to get them. Now you're in profit $1,400 for every student who signs up. So one easy way to make a lot of more money out of your martial arts school is just keep them for longer. Teach good classes, give them a good experience and keep your students for a lot longer. So those are my main tips for growing a martial arts school and being profitable and overall filling your gym within the first 90 days. So if you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe uh, for more weekly videos. And if you have any questions at all, comment below and I'll make sure to get back to you. See you guys next week.